Why is Friday the 13th so unlucky? Hello there, my friends. I'll tell you. It's, uh, there was this guy a long time ago. His name was Philip. And uh, he was king of France. It was the fourth Philip of France, if I remember correctly. And they called him Philip the Fair. Now, I don't know if they called him that before or after he was king and dead or I don't know. But anyway, if, he, if they meant fair, I'm kind of hoping they meant his hair or his, his eyes or his face or some physical quality. Because he certainly wasn't fair to the Knights Templar, that's for sure. Because in 1307... What he did, well, who were the Knights Templar first? So the Knights Templar were a religious order of knights, and they were, uh, they got rich, basically, by protecting uh, pilgrims going to the Holy Land from getting killed by, uh, you know, the natives uh, who didn't really want them there. So anyway, they, uh, they were basically like hired uh, bodyguards, and they, they made a lot of money there. There's... Uh, Rumors about them finding treasure underneath the Temple Mount. That's a whole thing. Uh, but anyway, they were very wealthy. And in France, they were pretty powerful because of their wealth. They're basically like the bankers of Europe. I can go into a whole thing about that. But here's the thing. Philip uh, coveted their wealth, basically. So uh, Philip, being the fair, uh, decided that on uh, October 13th of 1307, he was going to just, like do this kind of uh, crystal knock thing where he was going to like uh, have this uh, purge and he told his uh, uh, officers to, you know, his basically his law enforcement and his, you know, to, to, to sack, to uh, raid the Templar strongholds and uh, kidnap in prison the uh, Templars all on the same day so that there could be no con con uh, concerted effort to resist and uh, and take them by storm. And he did, and uh, rather successfully, if you're looking from Philip's point of view. A complete tragedy from the Knights Templar point of view, of course. And um, they even got the leader of the French Knights Templar, who was a guy named Jacques de Molay, and they took him and they burned him at the stake. <laughs> I mean, like, oh my gosh, right? So, um, and then there's uh, my own personal theory that has to do with the Shroud of Turin and uh, the uh, being given the wounds of Christ and all this sort of thing, but that's a different story. So if you want to hear that, go ahead and put it in the comments below. I'll tell you that story. Uh, go ahead and smash like for me. Why am I wearing this uh, silly looking hat? I thought I'd look good in the thumbnails. Uh, tell me if that's true or if I should just like stop doing that kind of stuff. Um, and uh, <laughs> subscribe if you want to see more of my silly stuff. I hope you have a great Friday the Thirteenth. That's the reason it was unlucky in the first place, was because it, it happened. That's what happened. So uh, don't worry about, you know, all the other superstitions. Those have just come about uh, afterwards. Anyway, there's your little bit of history and pressure, friends, and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks a lot.